Before the puck even drops, NHL 2005 allows you to pick your ideal face-off formation. There are three basic types of face-off formations, the conservative, the standard, and the aggressive. These formations will differ depending on where on the ice the face-off takes place. An aggressive formation, however, will give your offense the best possible chance for either a breakaway or a goal. To choose one of these formations, move the left thumbstick to the left or right. After selecting your face-off formation, there is a host of moves you can try to win the face-off. Let's go over them now. To win the face-off back to your defense or wingers, hold the left thumbstick in the direction you want the puck to go and press the A button. To win the draw forward and allow your center to keep control of the puck, hold the left thumbstick forward and press the A button. To allow your center to get a shot straight off the draw, hold the left thumbstick in the direction of the shot and press the B button. To tie up the opposing center, hold the left thumbstick forward and press the X button. To kick the puck back to your D, hold the left thumbstick back and press the X button. Remember, to time these moves correctly, press the appropriate button as the puck hits the ice. The center's face-off attributes will also help to determine the winner. Mastering these five plays off the draw will give you a definite advantage over your opponent. The Open Ice Control System breaks down into two parts, Open Ice Control and Open Ice Support. Practice this feature and you'll be able to create Open Ice for both yourself and your teammates. Open Ice Control allows you to take control of another player while your team has possession of the puck. This is done by pressing the white button. An AI player will then take control of the puck and leave you with the ability to move into Open Ice, break up the wing or drive to the net. Press the A button to call for the pass. Your AI-controlled teammate will try and get you the puck, so be sure to skate up ice and get in good position. This system is great for receiving a breakaway pass or initiating a give-and-go play. By pressing the B button, you can call for a shot from the AI-controlled puck carrier. If you're in good position in front of the net, this play will allow you to tip or deflect the shot into your opponent's goal. The second part of this system is open ice support. When you have the puck, press the black button to call for a pick. A teammate will help you out by checking or tying up a nearby opponent. This creates more open ice for you, the puck carrier. But be careful, it can also result in an interference penalty. We all know that different players have varying on-ice styles and personalities. This year, we've added player-specific deeks that allow you to pull off moves that are authentic to the real-life pros. This one is really simple. Just press the Y button and your player will do the rest. The type of deke is determined by the type of player. There are also many new ways to take shots and score in NHL 2005. Here's a look at some of the best. A powerful slap shot is always a favorite. Hold down the B button to wind up and release the B button to unleash your shot. Tap the B button for a quick release snapshot. And remember, the B button can also be used to execute one-timers. New to this year's game is the addition of the wrist shot. When in possession of the puck, hold down the X button to wind up for a wrister. When you feel it's time to unleash your shot, simply release your hold on the X button. You'll notice that using the wrist shot can be very effective with certain players. As an example, Marcus Nasland or Joe Sackick will crank out unbelievably quick and accurate wrist shots, just as they do in real life. It's all part of the new authenticity and realism in this year's game. Perhaps one of the most rewarding ways to score is off a deflection. It's simple to execute. Just get the puck to one of your point men, wait for a teammate to drive to the front of the net, and then rifle off the shot. If your teammate in front is in the right place, he will attempt to deflect the puck. Another new way to score in 2005 is by using the wraparound play. Simply skate behind the other team's net and tap or hold the B button. If you're in the right position, your player will try a wraparound. It's that easy. Finally, let's take a look at team play in the offensive zone and work on executing a couple of smart offensive plays. Watch how the winger speeds up to carry the puck into the offensive zone. To use the speed burst, pull and hold the right trigger. 
Notice how he stops at the half boards and waits for his teammates to set up in formation. You can make your player stop by simply releasing the left thumbstick. Notice how they work the puck around the zone looking for the best opportunity for a shot. Another example of good team play in the offensive zone involves knowing where your teammates are at all times. Not every shot a player takes is with the sole intention of scoring. If you happen to see a teammate breaking for the net, try shooting low to the far side. If your teammate in front is in good position, he may be able to capitalize on a rebound and fire the puck into an open net. These offensive maneuvers will be your building blocks to developing an unstoppable offense. With a little practice and some good positional play, there'll be no end to the different ways you can create scoring chances. In this year's game, some of the defensive controls can perform more than one function, depending on the situation. Let's start by having a look at the X button. When you are in front of or beside a nearby opponent, tap or hold the X button to perform a poke check. When you are behind an opponent, tap or hold the X button and your player will try and hook him. When you are in close proximity to an opponent, press the X button to tie him up. If you happen to do this while being near the boards, you will pin your opponent against them. This is a great button to frustrate your opponents and help your team gain possession of the puck. Another defensive control that can perform more than one function is the B button. It allows you to both block shots and passes, as well as dive in front of them. While on defense, if your player is positioned between the puck and your own net, press the B button and your player will attempt to block the shot. Any other time you press the B button while on defense, your player will dive. Blocking shots takes great intuition and patience, but if timed correctly, it can be a big help in stopping shots from reaching the front of the net. When trying to protect the lead, the conservative face-off formation is probably your best bet. Before the next face-off, move the left thumbstick to the left to choose the conservative formation. This formation will focus on tying up your opponents and keeping the D back in a safe position. Another way to stop your opponent is by throwing thunderous body checks. There are two decisive ways to hit. Press the Y button and your player will attempt to hit the nearest opponent. If you want to gain more control over your hit, use the Bruise Control feature. By using the right thumbstick, you can choose the direction of your hit. Anyone who knows hockey will tell you that disciplined defensive play is the key to consistently winning games. Here are a couple of good examples you can try. Watch as this defenseman plays a one-on-one. -on -one. Notice how he slows his backward speed to close the gap and makes the play before the forward has a chance to get in good shooting position. You can slow your player down by easing up on the left thumbstick. Once the gap is closed, it's time to make a play. To throw a hip check, move the right thumbstick in the direction you wish to hit. Here's one more example of great defensive play. Instead of always going for a big hit, be patient and let the offensive team work the puck around the perimeter. By keeping the puck to the outside and out of the slot, your goalie will have a much better chance of making the save. Offense gets the glory, but defense wins championships. Practice these new moves and strategies and make your team a defensive powerhouse.